Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Game Found Critique, where I take a look at a different crowdfunding project every single weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and get my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I'm on Game Found, and I'm excited to check out the new Robomon, an open-world game of robot combat for one to two players. So... Uh, I like the description there is an exploration focused story driven open world game of robot combat for one or two players. They told me a lot of information right there. That being said, I'd love to know the the time length and I'd love to know the age on this. Is this a family weight game or is this more of a, you know, couples sort of thing? You know, that's what I really love to know here. Robomon, the tabletop adventure. Yeah, other than that, I mean, I'd like to know the name of the company that's publishing it as well. It'd be nice to know the price. There's a lot of information that could be conveyed here. That being said, I'm not a big fan of GameFound in general. Hopefully, Alex, uh, who from Board Game Co., who actually just got hired by GameFound, congrats to him, uh, can fix some of the, the annoyances they have on here. But, as always, when we go in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? And the, play, the time length now. Let's go. Start your Robomon adventure today. Okay. Getting the NAS retro vibe. It's time to head out on your uh, adventure to become a certified Robomon Ranger. Okay, so I'm getting, you know, very generic uh, Game Boy color vibes of like one of those games that, that, that came out in that time period, like the Pokemon spin off type of things. I'm getting that vibe pretty heavy, which is great. I think that's the vibe they're trying to set. I think they're doing a very solid job of it. Build your character and dive into an open world full of quests, battles, puzzles, and more. That looks cool. It's a very cool board right there. And, and kudos to them, they timed this well enough that I could read this and then also take a gander at the board and say, ooh, that looks really cool. Uh, and I just, on my last Kickstarter, I complained about that. The timing of your text is very important, especially if you don't have it, someone uh, narrating over it. Capture, upgrade, and repair Robomon to create the perfect team. Very cool. Those cards look like bootleg Pokemon cards, and that's kind of what I want them to look like for this game. Complete in tactical grid-based combat, okay. Robomon. <laughs> and climb the ranks as you battle the best Robomon competitors in the province. Experience branching narrative that's full of surprises you make way through. Now that, that is fantastic. You're showing me the uh, the book. And I like how it has the map here. It has a comic there. I'd almost like to see this zoomed in and like at an angle where I could really just behold all the beauty that's here. I know you're trying potentially not to spoil things. Uh, but that is a really good looking shot. Like that shot right now just bumped my excitement level about this game up about three notches. The game's map and adventure books to explore the world. Okay. Got that. That looks cool. And maybe uncover some secrets along the way. Meanwhile, location redacted. Comic. Spotlighting the fact there's going to be comics in this. Uh, start your... Oh, so there's a bad... There's a bad person. An evil doer. Got it. Antagonist. Oh! Whoa! And... Be still my beating heart. I will say, as much as I... There's a lot of things I don't like about GameFound. The fact that they let you just pop in a YouTube video, I think is absolutely brilliant and fantastic. And dang it, Kickstarter, just get on it. Because here's the bottom line. After watching that video, you know what I want? If I'm a fan, I want to learn more. And there's things. How to create a character and an unboxing. So essentially, they just got three videos in one here. Thanks to GameFound allowing them to use YouTube. Not to mention, as a creator. This is, this is something you might not even think about. This is absolutely beautiful and i would love to see this i want to run a game found now just so i can see this uh i just thought of this you would get to see exactly when people started to turn off your kickstarter video you would see the, the parts where it spiked the parts where you get to see all that information on the back end of kickstarter which would be really cool okay i'm done waxing poetic uh, about game found we got a very a big love hate relationship so no reward selected here choose reward that looks a little bit amateurish i'm not gonna lie here that seems odd. Like, I don't think I've ever went to a game... In fact, I think this is the first time I've ever went to a GameFound project and ever actually seen not having a featured pledge level. That's... It's just... It's there. It's such a nice feature. I would put it there. It's just... You know, it's like... Why, why, I'm curious as to why not. Uh, video game thing. So we got the box. Got it. Here's the box. So it is... A, it looks like it's a smaller box, potentially. I still don't have a firm grasp on the size of the box, which is always something I like to know, especially before we get to the shipping. So, uh, we got some stuff set out. We got artwork. Most of the animals have become extinct before a series of devastating wars. Got it. 
So now we got robot animals. Cool. Explore the world. Map encounters lead to adventure book. Entries for battles, cutscenes, puzzles, skill checks, item shops, and more. Wow, this looks great. Discover a truly open world with no turns uh, or rounds of play. Go where you want. Do what you want. Reprogram. Upgrade. That's fantastic. Upgrade your team. Get into battles. Uh, and it's like the booklet turns into the battle. Very nice use of space there. And that's also the kind of thing that can keep the price of the game you know, down a little bit instead of having you know a whole bunch of series of boards in there. And it's not just because the manufacturing cost of that, but then the shipping cost of having to ship all that. Uh, so I, lo I love I love, the fact that this is becoming a very regular thing in our hobby. Two-player mode. Play the game solo or team up with a friend to take on the adventure together. Love that. Play again and again. The game can be replayed over over and over again. You'll know how the main story plays out. I still don't know the age on this one. I'd love to know that. The game has lots of stickers, but they're all cosmetic for the character sheet and don't change the actual game. You can just as easily play through the game without using any of them. However, the game comes with enough stickers for four playthroughs. That's cool. I had no idea there was going to be stickers. Like, nowhere in my brain I was like, yeah, there's going to be stickers with this game. Which is why I feel like uh I, i'm waiting for that the price and then the really nice long sexy shot of all the components i feel like we should just get hit with that pretty early no rule booklet necessary whoo spot like that love it the game starts as soon as you open the box and teaches you how to play as you play that's fantastic hopefully there's a video down here of at least like the first five to ten minutes of someone just going through the tutorial that everyone's going to go through as soon as they get this book uh, i want to see that i want to see some in real some some game footage me as a player who's interested to say i want to see this refer to the rules reference for player aids and anything you may have forgotten click here to download the rules reference why back now 79 dollars. okay that's a premium price i'm not quite sold on that premium price yet especially considering i don't know the size of the box and the last picture you showed me of the box made it look like this is not the biggest game like this, like this could be very easily like a small box game. Like I'm imagining, uh, smaller than Pandemic, but but also thicker up, you know. And that's the case. That's a really hard sell at eighty dollars, like really hard. Also, I need to know the number of pages on here. I think the number of pages here of story and text and artwork. I, I don't feel like I was properly vetted before you just dropped an eighty bomb on me there. Uh, so hopefully you can convince me now that we've seen it though. All right. So we got here's. This is the, what is, this is the, what? I thought, I thought it was, uh, this was the rules reference, right? What? This is a week. Okay. So you might want to fix that. Click here to download the rules reference. Cause this doesn't, this just takes us to something that's not the rules reference. Uh, so why back now? And that's important. I absolutely want to see the rules of this, especially if I'm splunking 80 bucks down. Uh, it, that being said, there might be videos, and if there are videos, then then I'm much less interested in the rule booklet. Vote on new content like additional Robomon, so cool. You just told me about how we're going to be getting people engaged. Receive soundtrack digital downloads with 25 plus songs from the game. Cool. Digital download. You know, and that's that's never been my thing, but the bottom line is that's an extra thing that you can sell on this without having to ship anything physically which is great because that's where you're going to start paying a whole bunch of extra who's it's and what's nots what people are saying about it okay cool quotes it's tons of fun to catch some robot friends and send them into tactical battle the excellent world building is icing on the robot cake it's a ton of fun to catch some robot friends and send them into tactical battle so first part of the game it's fun catching them and then sending them to battle so they say they like the game okay uh i was very excited the moment i heard about robomon a game inspired by pokemon that brings its own unique uh, Worlds of the Tabletop Game has an evergreen game on his hands. It's his best game design to date. Uh, is this person, if they played it? Because the beginning of this makes it sound like they haven't played it, which I always feel like is a terrible thing to have in a quote. If I ever sense in a quote that someone hasn't played or hasn't experienced the thing that they're quoting about, I immediately just move on to the next quote. Uh, which, the end of it, though, makes me think that they have. It's his best design to date. Uh, but, but I don't know. So that beginning, just a little, uh, captures the soul game feel of the Pokemon video games. That's, that's a wrong. That's what I want to know. Robobot has all the charm, cute monsters, quick and strategic combat, mystery, storytelling, and puzzle solving that you've been looking for in a solo adventure tabletop game. Every roll of the dice and turn of the map book is a joy. So they really liked it and they spotlighted things. I love being fully immersed in the Robomon world, seeing my character develop as I inter interacted with everything in this open world game as everything I hoped for and more. Learning the game as I played and listening to the old school 8-bit soundtrack read Robomon Delightful a memorable experience okay solid quotes i mean i don't think any of them are fantastic i still kind of want to know a little bit more about like the actual gameplay itself uh like a video would be great includes thematic and i'm sure there are if they have all these quotes i'm sure there are videos uh and, and once again i can't knock them too hard because i can always just go click over here thanks to the beauty of game found retro so this is try it now includes thematic background music Cool. Then we have the pledge. Retailer pledge. 50 bucks pledge 14 times. Okay, and these look like larger boxes now. 
And then we have 79 bucks. Robomont Base Game. Shipping and VAT will be charged after they can't pay through the pledge manager. Yeah, so we don't actually have... Is this a long, sexy scrolling shot on here? What's in the box? Here we go. 300-plus page adventure book. There we go. 80 bucks seems reasonable. All you had to do was drop that. 300-page adventure book. 70-page math book. 16-page rules reference book. Now we're good. That is nearly 400 pages of game. I am no longer having any any issues with an $80 price tag but how far I'm 12 minutes into this campaign before I found it and and here's the other thing I would say this this makes this look even more glaring because the first thing I normally do on these game found critiques is I click right here to see whatever the chosen pledge is and uh it wasn't it wasn't there so that's hmm. then we have plus expansion oh there's an expansion I feel like you just kind of dropped me on this you haven't mentioned expansion in any way shape or form and now we're just like hey there's an expansion okay uh, game and tournament of Titans expansion. What's in the tur- I, I got this. What's in the tournament? Ooh, wow, those cards look good. Yeah, I didn't even look at the long, sexy scrolling shot because I was already, I was already convinced at the 300-page adventure book. So that really is how well that sells it. But then, yeah, let's look at this. Great artwork. Cool. The cards pop. Show me the backs of it. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Great components. Oh, my. Dual labor Robomon storage. What? Wow. So I immediately am not the biggest fan of the, the 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 fact that this I would have this right with that eighty dollar price point like on the main page and and that's one thing it's hard to do a game found project because it could be super clunky with these in addition you, you know because you're just used to Kickstarter and how Kickstarters are and it's hard to make uh, translate it over but okay so does that even does that even show me anything about the expansion <laughs> what that's just the ba oh here it is I, sc I actually scrolled over it. so how many pages. Oh, that was there. Uh, 50 plus page, 12 page map book. Okay, that's great. So 62 pages. I got no issues with that. I imagine that's the most popular pledge level. No, because there's a deluxe one. I feel like this was kind of sprung on me. I feel like this was definitely kind of strong on me, but hey, uh, Robomon plus expansion plus the deluxe components. I don't feel like, did the video mention this in any way? Sure. I don't feel like the video did. Maybe it was in the unboxing video. Maybe it was in one of those other videos, but I didn't click on those. I didn't watch those because I wanted to know more about your game. I'm here for the game found story. Uh, okay. So these definitely feel sprung on. So what's in the box? Cool. S cards. We got the deluxe. Your robot experience with deluxe components. One leather bound card holder. Okay. Completely unnecessary, but cool. With card protector pages. 50 custom wooden tokens, batteries, moon, gears, and energy. Yeah, the fact that none of these were spotlighted in the video were even hinted at or teased at. Uh, in any way, shape, or form up until I got to this point, I definitely feel like that's... Like, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Like, I feel like... Because that's fantastic. That's going to sell... At 125 bucks. I feel like that's very reasonable on Kickstarter right now. For the amount of pages that you're getting here, almost 500 pages of stories, which, once again, I don't feel like you've converted me that amount of time into hours, which is another thing that I'm not the biggest fan of. Like, I feel like how many hours minimum could I potentially get out of this? 100? 100 hours? 50 hours? Like, spotlighting one of those is a big deal. And I, and I poke, uh, there's there's one on Kickstarter right now that, 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 that they apparently agreed with me because I did a Kickstarter critique on it. I said, oh, I've mentioned that, that on the front. They did. They put it on the marquee. It was 50, 60 hours of gameplay. Things like that make an $80 price tag just that much easier to swallow. And then 125, we're bumping it up. I'm going to get this custom game. It looks like a one, this looks like one that might potentially have one print run, you know, unless it comes back for a second Kickstarter, that sort of game. So I feel like 125 bucks, very Kickstarter reasonable. So, I still need to get to the shipping, which, uh, I'll get to it. New Robo Mini, Octopus, or Crab? What's this? Oh, these are stretch goals. Okay, they're just kind of thrown here. Back goals will choose which Robomon to add to the base game. Cool. Upgraded card quality. Uh, new Robomon, Komodo Dragon thing. And then the new location. Ooh, what is this? Uh, go to update 7 to vote on which location to add. Now, this one gets me excited about the updates. Great. What's in the box? Oh, now we got the long scrolling shot. Okay. Took us a while to get here. Okay. And when we get to it, I do think that is a nice shot, though. That was a good one. Uh, gameplay. Oh, beautiful. Full gameplay? That's all I'm here for. Now, the comic book is not this one for a Excellent. Excellent. Immediately feel infinitely more comfortable in the can you do it. And the do I want it. Uh, game found preview. Final thoughts. Pokemon board game. Impressions. Unboxing. How to create a character. Oh, that's in the... I love this. I love this video. What? Your this is what I'm always talking about. Just set yourself up in front of your phone or anything like that and just talk about your game. It, it 
It does so much. It provides a useful video that everyone can go to, but if things don't go well, if things go bad in shipping, or, you know, something messes up, I feel like people are much more inclined to be kinder. Now, not everybody, obviously, but when there's an actual face you're talking to, I feel like people are just a little bit more forgiving. Um, and so, great, I love that video there. I don't love the positioning of it because it's, it's buried at the very bottom of the page. And once again, you look at the page... Uh, it is like it's right down here uh stretch goals but that being said i could just click here and get videos reviews unboxing and more so uh, game found completely just saying you know what forget that we'll take care of that i love that but it's still the organization that's not the biggest fan of so now we do have uh, a stretch goal section so this is the stretch goal section we we already know about this stuff because we saw it from up here for in the other stretch goal section shipping like i feel like those need to be interweaved somehow or right next to each other U.S., so 16 bucks to ship the game. I'd love to know the weight of the game. I'd love to know the size of the box. But the number of pages that are in there, I feel comfortable. Especially with that components that you showed me. They were great. They look great. Shipping estimates are based on one copy of the Probomon project. If you order more products, the price will be higher. So 16 bucks. So now I'm looking at, what was it, $141 game. That seems about what I would expect to pay for this kind of thing on Kickstarter or GameFound. 79 Okay. Oh, I love, I love the fact that I don't have to scroll. I can just do that. Beautiful uh licensing if you're a publisher and have uh, so hey you want to good you want to bring this out in your country give us an email that's a good thing to have i'd make that clickable come on make it clickable risks and challenges refunds and cancellation all right when's this thing coming out that's my question do we mention vat uh that will be charged okay uh, so inside the pledge manager after the campaign ends. okay so let's check out the comments the faq and give this one a grade in the updates Hey, game, any chance of a miniatures add-on for the Robon player? Absolutely useless. I mean, it would be awesome, particularly if they come colored. Anyway, the campaign would need to be way more successful than that to hope for a miniature add-on. Yes, I agree 100% there with Karub. If this starts popping up minis, my grade on this is going to go down just a bit because once you start dabbling in those minis, that's you get in some trouble. We have over 4K followers that should unlock the extra puzzles, right? Oh, there's extra puzzles? There's things to do? Was that mentioned in the Kickstarter campaign? I don't feel like it was. Um... Let's go check out the updates. Well, once again, if there's exciting things in the updates, then you need to be telling me that there's exciting things in the updates. And I think you did at one point. You said go to update number seven for something. Uh, how does two-player mode work? Can I see a rule booklet? Uh, the game doesn't have a traditional booklet. It guides you through learning. Is the game replay re uh, replayable? So you're missing out there. The game can't be re can be replayed over and over again. You'll know the main story plays out, but the fun comes from making different choices along the way and building a completely different team. The game has lots of... Okay. All right. And then the updates. How many Romimon in the next stretch goal? We got 51 hearts. Let's see how much game engagement we got on this sort of thing. Yeah. I love Game Found. 348 people engaged with this poll. Like, how many backers does this have? I actually, I actually want to see what percentage of people engaged with this poll. That is nearly, wow, that's almost half of the people that are back this project voted in that update. And God, it just, it just makes me love GameFound so much that, that, that they could do that. Like just imagining half, nearly half of backers interacting on a Kickstarter update. Just like it, does, it doesn't even, it doesn't even compute to me. So that is really nice. I love the I love the uh, the fact they had polling, but that's uh, and then the fact they're using polling, they're getting people engaged. That being said, there's on Game Found, there's not like a popularity chart. There's no damn rhyme or reason, presumably. Uh, but still, they have polls in here. Your questions answered. These look good. These look appealing. Wake up and see the project funding. Thank you so much for backing. These look like great engaging updates, and they're getting and and here's the other thing that I really want to spotlight about the this update number seven that is extra impressive to me, and this is a full point grade bump up to me right now. This is how you build brand loyalty. Assuming this game crushes, people are gonna remember how much fun this Kickstarter campaign was in getting engaged with it. And then when they launch something else, that's when we add another zero to this sort of thing, or when we do the second edition, that that sort of thing. But I want you to think this in. This typically with kickstarter updates or crowdfunding updates you get less engagement as the project progresses now obviously it, you'll have spikes here and there especially if you ask people questions or if something big happens but typically that's how it works this is update number seven and they still have nearly half of the people engaging with the project and there's the other thing that i want to uh, so i also think this is really interesting just a human interaction thing so 342 people uh engaged with the poll but only 51 thumbs up it 
So that's uh, so it's hard to get people to thumbs up it. Okay. Anywho, fantastic updates there. Kudos, kudos on those updates. Final grade for this one. Do I want it? Yes. It looks like a cool game. I don't think I'm necessarily the target market for this game either. I'm not a very particularly big fan of head-to-head -head dueling games. Uh, but this one looks fun. All the everything around it, the story, the fact that you saw like 400 plus pages of story with the expansion. You got me. You got me. I want to go through this adventure with my kids who are just absolutely obsessed with Pokemon. You know, and I feel like, but that being said, I still don't, like, I feel like we didn't mention the age. Oh, it's right here, 12 plus. Game found, did it again. I just missed it. Game found. Bailing everybody out. Man, Game found just crushes it. They just need to, they just need to implement some more stuff. Okay, so, do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? First time, creator, um, very ambitious, unique game. I'm always concerned about the gameplay of this, but I, I could easily go watch some of the gameplay videos and see if it's for me. So can you do it? Yeah, I'm going to feel comfortable with that. 82,000 people bringing this to life, and let's see what they're manufacturing. They're making the base game. They're making another box with upgraded components, and they're making expansions. They have three products that they're making, and they have $82,000 to do that. I think that is feasible, especially considering uh, most of the people are in, in the big pledge level. So... And then the, the how much is it? I feel like it's an okay price. I feel I don't feel like it's a great price. I don't feel like it's a bad price, but I feel like it's an okay price, especially for the number of, amount of story you're getting here. So final grade for Robobon the Tabletop Adventure. I did not like the flow of the page at all. I did not think it was a fun shopping experience to like browse through this stuff. I felt like it was a little more annoying, um, but it still had everything nuts and bolts. I think I think this is I think this really looks like someone's first crowdfunding project and they're going to figure out their ebb and flow and i think the next one's going to even better and i hope this game crushes and i think i'm going to give this one around a c plus i think overall really solid looking project um no 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 i'm going to go with a, a b on this one just because i gave it that those update section that is one of the best update numbers i've ever seen nearly half of the people engaged that's just bonkers but let me know in the comments below what's your final grade for robomon the tabletop adventure and as always if you're enjoying the content please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below as i'm trying to reach 15,000 subscribers so break my something or other and if you're interested in having your kickstarter or game found project critique check out the fiber link down below bye bye